everyone this is my 38 week update i know you think this is supposed to be week 39 but unfortunately my doctor changed my due date so i'm gonna actually start backwards today and tell you what happened i went to the doctor on monday and last monday i had an ultrasound because they thought the baby had flipped so at my ultrasound he was measuring smaller than they thought he was so when I go to the doctor on Monday, he says, after the ultrasound, we're going to change your due date to March 14th. I was totally bummed. He gave me two more weeks. It's devastating. <laughs> I was so, like, I could have cried because I'm so ready to see Carter. And he's just going to flip my due date. So, on, well, hopefully he'll be here before the 14th, but the 14th is his new due date. So... I'm really bummed about that. But no baby yet. He's still definitely in my tummy. So Carter will be here in a week and a day. So I'm doing this update kind of late because I had so much stuff happening. So I went on a maternity leave officially this week. And I thought I was going to have all this free time just, you know, to do whatever I wanted to. No! My week has been so busy, like, from Monday all the way to Friday. I've just been, like, going, 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 going. Anyway, I'll fill you guys in on that later. So, as for my cravings, I have been craving pizza again. So it came back. Me and pizza are best friends. Um, and that's it, really. Nothing else. I'm still craving, like, water or drinking a lot of water. But other than that, just pizza, pizza, pizza. Um... Some of my symptoms, I still have the lower back pains, um, way more intense than it used to be. It used to just be like a little pain, now it's like excruciating, but only at night. And I also have um, the soles of my feet, like the pads of my feet hurt when I walk. I don't know, it might be my shoes. I've been wearing gym shoes lately, so I haven't been wearing any cute shoes or anything like that, just gym shoes, but the soles of my feet hurt really bad. Um, I'm having to pee way more now, like 10 to 11 times a night. I'm getting up like every hour on the ever pee. Sometimes two times in an hour. It's getting ridiculous. Like I'm just peeing all the time. Um, and then at nighttime, I think I'm feeling Braxton Hicks and some cramping. Um, my stomach will hurt really bad. It'll get really tight and uncomfortable and then it'll go away. And this happens like three or four times a night. So I'm thinking that these are... Braxton Hicks. We'll see. Um, at my doctor's appointment, I gained, what, one pound? So, my total weight gain right now is 33 pounds. And I'm at a total of 172 pounds total. Um, so, staying right there in the 170 range, I don't think I'm going to gain any more weight. This is probably, like, where I'll be for the rest of my pregnancy. Oh, what else is happening? Oh, this week my good friend from Virginia came down, um, Chris. So I got to see him. We spent some time together. And then we actually went to go see another friend that we went to school with, um, Jason. Um, he was doing a photo shoot. So we kind of went to his photo shoot and hung out. And we just all used to be on the track team in college. So it was just nice to see old friends. So that was a little treat in the middle of the week. And he got to see me pregnant, and he talked about me, but it was cool. So we had fun, um, reminiscing about old times and stuff. Um, like I said, I'm officially on maternity leave. Um, I was actually going to go back and work this week after they changed my due date, but of course my family were like, no, you're not working, you're going to sit your butt down and relax. And I'm like, all right, sheesh, calm down. So I'm not working, um, just been relaxing, but like I said, my week has been super busy. So on Monday I had my doctor's appointment. Um, on Tuesday, what did I do? I actually went shopping for Mr. Carter. And I picked up a few things. And I also organized his closet. Well, his side of the closet. I bought bins to store more of his stuff in. Because I didn't have any room to put all his stuff after the baby shower. So I had to make storage spaces so I'll show you all that like at the end of the video um and then I got my hair done on yesterday which was 
Friday. Um, just so it would be manageable. So I wouldn't have to worry about it when the baby came. So I got my hair done in kinky twists. They're really tight because I just got them done. Like my eyebrows are probably like this. See, I can't even raise them. So hopefully before the baby comes, they'll be like, you know, it won't hurt so bad. What else happened? Oh, I met with my doula on, um, I still think we were supposed to meet on Monday, but we didn't meet until like Wednesday, I think. And she brought over the birthing ball. And her ball actually has sand in the bottom. So I won't, you won't fall off basically. So it's kind of cool. But I've been like rocking my hips on that like three, four times a day, trying to get Carter to make sure he's down in my hips. So that's cool. Um, I show her my birth plan and she told me a few things that I need to change just because my hospital um, won't allow a few of those things. Mostly the things that have to do with the C-section. And she told me to change that I want to be discarded as soon as possible. Because they said, she said they will discard, they will send you home, but you'll have to come back the next day because you and the baby have to get 48 hour blood tests. And then you might have to come back the day after that because the doctor needs to see, the baby needs to see the pediatrician for the first time. So, we're going to take that off because who wants to be going back and forth? Like, I'd really rather be at home, but I don't want to take the baby out in that weather and I'm sure I don't know how I'm going to feel going back and forth, back and forth to the doctor. So, those are just a few things. Um, we're going to revise. What else happened? I posted my birth plan video and my diaper bag video. So, you guys can go take a look at those if you'd like. Um, on my birth plan video, I got a lot of negative feedback because I wanted to um, have Carter circumcised. Um... Which I guess I really didn't expect. I just, this was my personal choice for my son. So, I don't know. It was just like a lot of negative feedback. So, that wasn't really appreciated. But, you know, it's over, done, and over with. So, no big deal. Um, and my co-workers on the last day of work, they all got me a card. And they put $100 in it. So, that was really nice of them. So, Carter has a little, um... I put it in his savings, so that will be the beginning of his little savings account, so he'll have $100 to start. So, hopefully by the time he's like one, you know, he'll be like two, three, four thousand dollars $4,000, we'll see. So, that's cool. So, I'm going to show you some of the stuff. Um, I got two baby books. Um, the Borders by our house is actually going out of business. Sad. But I found these two books, and both of the books were like, together were 20 bucks. Um, so... This is one of the books, and it just says, First Steps Baby Boy. This book was only $2.99. And it's really basic. It's not as detailed as the other book. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. But it's just a simple little book. And, like, he put his first hair in there and his hospital bracelet. It's just really, really cute. And then the other book that I got for him is the Baby Journal, which I showed you in the diaper bag video. I mean, the hospital video, bag video. But this one has tons of stuff, and it goes all the way up to three years. So that's why I really like this one. So it even gives you, like, little stuff for decorating. I don't know if you guys can see that. And it gives you stickers for some of his milestones. So I really, really like this book. And this book was, like... 15 maybe so they were really like cheap and this used to be a $25 book so awesome so those are my baby books because I needed him to have a baby book um what else did I get him I got a few like medicine kit things right here so this is just baby Vaseline which um Really for the baby's butt after I change them just to prevent diaper rash. And I also bought this A&D ointment. I don't know if anyone knows about this kind. But it's just um, A&D ointment. It actually comes out like a yellowy, a yellowish color. And it's kind of the consistency of Vaseline. But this is great to put on just all the time. Because I used to work at a daycare. And whenever babies had diaper rash, this worked the best. So, um... 
if you don't know, you probably should go buy some of this. It's awesome. It comes in this little bottle, and it comes in a big container, kind of like this. That's like eight or nine dollars. It's worth it. It works. It's awesome. Trust me. Like this is awesome. So go buy some. Um, I bought the little baby safe Q-tips. So I got some of those. And then this. Um, I don't know if you guys watch whose blog. Taryn, um, her baby's name is Emery. I forget what her blog name is. I think it's like Miss Bratz or something like that. But she bought this for her baby, and it's the Little Noses Medicine Kit. And I'll just show you what's inside of it. Um, it really doesn't have anything for um, fever, really. So I have to buy some of that. But I'll just show you what's in here. So it has gas drops and nose decongestants. And it has something for their teeth when they start teething. Um, it has like a Vicks vapor rub in here for babies. And some fingernail clippers. I'm not going to show you those. It has saline drops. And it has um, gripe water. And it doesn't expire until June of 2012. And it also has this awesome nose aspirator, which I think it's way cooler. It actually kind of curves to go up their nose better, which is awesome. Because the one I got in my little safety first kit that has like the grooming kit and stuff, it was horrible. Like it kind of fell apart before we even used it. So that sucked. And then the last thing I want to show you is uh, some clothes I got him. So I realized that he didn't have any clothes for six to nine months. So I was like... What are we going to do? So, um, before I put all the $100 in the bank for his savings, I used a couple of it just to pick up a few outfits from, um, from the job. So these are kind of from his co-workers. So this is a cute little froggy towel. So, his head won't stay up. This is just a cute little towel. And then I'll show you some of the summer stuff I got for him. So I found these little loafers and I just couldn't resist. Cute, right? And then he has these little hats. And this hat. These are really for pictures, but to keep his head warm too. So we found these little shirts. And it looks like it's a tie right there. I don't know if you can see it. It's really cute. And then this one actually comes with shorts and I'll show them to you. It has like a little matching belt and everything. So this is the shirt and these are the little shorts that go with it. Isn't that cute? And then he has this little froggy outfit and it says little guy. He has a frog on the butt. And okay I love these jumpers for summertime. So I like OD'd on them in six to nine months. So this is one. This is a green one. <laughs> and here's a white and black one. Here's a green one, but this one's a different material. And they're all like polo jumpers. And then here's a blue one. So he has enough of these for a long time, for like a week in the summertime. Because I just think those are so perfect just to throw in the baby and kind of go out. So those are his jumpers. Oh, and I also want to show you my postpartum belly wrap. So I didn't order the belly banded. I got this one. It's by the Lee Lachi group. But this is what it looks like. And it adjusts all the way like to here. So it has more room for adjustment than some of the other ones where they said you had to buy two or three. I could just use this one. Um, it just opens up like this. It's really long. And it's really stretchy. And it's longer than most of them. Most of them are a little shorter. But this one kind of goes all the way up to your breast and covers like down by your hips. Um, of course I haven't tried it out yet because I still have a big belly. But um, it had good reviews. It was $25 on Amazon.com. So... Really excited about using this. So we'll see how it works. And that is everything that I got. That's my update this week. Not too much really happening. Um, I'll update you guys again in a couple of days. Probably right after my doctor's appointment. So late Monday. I'll do my...
actual 39 week update instead of 38 weeks again so kind of sucks um i'm gonna go ahead and show you his closet really quick and some of the storage i got for him excuse my room it's kind of junky <laughs> Um, and then I'll show you the belly. So let me show you this really quick though. So this is the, his side of the closet. I don't know how good you can see that. Okay, so that's his side of the closet. And these are his zero to three months clothes. That's my breast pump and breast pump accessories. And those, those little drawers down there, you can't really see them. But those have all his big clothes in them. And then... This has big clothes too. So these clothes are three to six months. Those are towels. And these Huggies Pure Natural. Someone told me to try them. They said that um, they bought their babies Pampers and it broke them out. So I don't want that to happen. And then over here is another little drawer. I don't know how well you can see it. But it's just wipes in here. Miscellaneous things. Um, mommy stuff. I can't even open that one. And then this one has books in it. And the bottom was empty right now. And this is the birth ball. So I'm excited about using that. So that's all the storage that I got for him. And I'll go ahead and show you the belly and measure. Let me get my tape out. Okay. So oh, this is my belly. 38 weeks again socks and from the front belly and with the shirt up and from the other side so he's still in there um they say he's dropped but I really don't feel it so we'll see and he is Drum roll, please. Can my belly shrink? I think he got smaller. What does that say? Forty and a half? Maybe. Yeah, right at forty and a half. So, stomach's not growing. I don't think he's growing. I think he's just ready to come out at this point. So, that is everything. Um, sorry for the late, late update. Um, and I will update you guys again Monday or Tuesday. Hopefully I won't have to update you because he'll be here. But we'll see. <laughs> Alrighty, so have a great day. Thanks everyone for watching. Thanks everyone for subscribing. And hopefully soon I'll be showing you little baby Carter. Excited. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye.